About two and a half to three years ago, Pete and I were separated. We had a lot of hostility in our marriage and um, it was coming out all over the place and affecting us individually and obviously our marriage and our parenting too. I was really angry and really bitter and thought more in terms about how I was being mistreated in my mind and what I deserved and what I really wanted. I didn't want to be divorced and I also didn't see how the marriage can continue the way it was going. Life was ugly everywhere. I didn't want to um, be around other people. The problems that I had were stemming from my own heart, from my own perspectives and my own selfishness. It was destroying our family. I was wanting to run and escape and just start over again. The turning point came after a really awful argument that led to us separating. I told Kirsten to, to go. I felt very alone and I felt very focused on myself. The consequences of divorce and the reality of it and what it means um, really drove me towards the cross. I reached out to several of the pastors at our church. I went and met with a pastor in my church and he did a very beautiful thing with me. I confess that I felt very hopeless and I didn't feel like there was any hope for the marriage. And he gave me a gift and said um, that that was fine with him, that I didn't feel hope that he would hold on to it for me and that we would just keep walking towards Jesus. It was God saying to me, I want something so much more for you than you want for yourself. Instead of trying to win the battle, there was a whole different way of winning the battle. And that was, um, moving towards your heart. So as we moved back together, um, I started taking the wonderful curriculum, How People Change, and I started meeting with two women from my church who have weekly um, sat with me, cried with me, prayed for me, um, and told me hard things in such beautifully loving ways. I needed to confess to him where I had fallen short. Will you forgive me? and for him to say yes joyfully. James 1, 2 through 3, and lots of verses like it. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And a marriage that by all obvious signs should have um, ended up in the divorce courts instead ends up being put back together. If you find yourselves in the situation that we've been in, and that we're still coming out of, I cannot encourage you enough to go find a biblical Christian counselor in your area. Be wise, be strong, do the right thing. Find a good, strong biblical counselor who will tell you hard truths and give you more peace and joy than you've ever known. Get yourself to the foot of the cross. Get some help.